Wellington Rugby TV, Ross Bond with you. We caught up with the Saracen boys who have been over here with the Wellington Rugby Academy. We've now got the Worcester boys, um, Nick and Zach. Welcome, fellas. Thank you. Thank you. I yeah. guess you're about packing bags and nearly ready to head, to head home, I guess. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. So three months ago, you arrived here. I asked the Saracens boys, how did you guys end up here? How did this come about? Um, well, I had an injury, so I missed most of the year, uh, which I was pretty gutted about. Yeah. But the uh, opportunity was presented to me by the club back home. And yeah, I was just kind of wanted to get out here and play a bit of rugby. And nice. Make up for lost time, I guess. So, yeah. so how's the injury now? Everything's yeah, all good, all good. Yeah, so I haven't had any issues while I've been out here, so that's a positive. So yeah, it's worked out pretty and well. How do you end up here? Same, pretty Same. much. Yeah, um, a few injuries the past couple of seasons, and then just trying to make up for lost time whilst the boys were in off season at home. Get out here, play some games, and then hopefully hit the ground running when we get back. So you're in the academy at Worcester. Yeah. Does it operate the same as the Saracens boys? The same sort of setup, I guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We, we all train against the first team yep. or with the first team every day of the week, pretty much. So it's pretty full on. When we get back, it's going to be straight back into it. So where do you play? What position? Uh, back row, flanker. You're a flanker, yeah. and uh, I play across the front row. You're so across the front row, so yeah. all three. You're Mr. Yeah. Versatile. Good um, yeah, I try yeah, we to like be. people like yeah. you. Very good. So you've been at Ori's? Yeah. How have you found that? How have you found the uh, Ori's club? Really good, yeah. It's, um, to, be, to be honest, it's a bit different to clubs at home, as in all the boys there are quite, you know, real, very, well, very friendly and very welcoming when I first got there. And uh, like I only live across the road, my, where I'm flying is across the road, so on the way home from training, boys will stop in for, for what dinner. What they do, or, yeah, yes they do. Yes, stop yeah. in for dinner or have it, come over for coffee or whatever. So yeah, it's really, it's real nice being, it's real close-knitted, yeah, that's why I'd describe it, yeah, it's good. Yeah, big family atmosphere in the yeah, club, Yeah, real yeah. big, yeah. Had old boys, they've looked after you? Yeah, they really looked after me. I think when I got here, I was pretty nervous, uh, to say the least, but the culture there, like Zach said, uh, it's just all family orientated and like I f found that I was able to fit in quite well and they w looked after me and continue to look after me. So so you mentioned before about the, the, the little different feel of it. I guess it's is it because you're not paid here? Do you think it's not, you guys are in sort of a, a professional environment? Yeah. Do you think that creates some issues of itself? Um, maybe, maybe a com not complacency, but a more of a appreciation of the game. So the boys there, you know, they take time out of their own weeks away from their wives, children, girlfriends, yeah. etc. Yeah. After work, after a full day of work, to come and train in the evenings and stuff. And it's quite, it's a big commitment, you know, giving up your, giving up your Saturdays as well. And usually a Sunday when you're so sore on Sunday. Yeah. So yeah. Um, the appreciation of the game is massive. And I think that's really hit home with me. And being injured and stuff and being out of the game for so long, uh, resenting boys for playing. But now, now I understand almost like the reason why I play again, so yep. it's quite nice to be nice. have been here and yep. seen how much boys love to play. So yeah. So you've been in the, the Wellington Academy setup um, with Rick Fatherell, and, and you've had a number of sessions. I know with Rodney Soiello. How did you find Rod's sessions? Yeah, no, they were pretty amazing to say the least. I think, especially for me, I felt like that one-to-one -one time with him. Uh, was just unreal, like I've learned so much and my game's developed and with the games on the weekend I've been able to put into practice what, what I've learned. Nice. Mm -hmm. So I think going back uh, to England I, I have that upper hand because technically like my skills have improved a lot. Um, but yeah, he's kind of given us the chance to try things that we wouldn't get to try. Mm. Um, so what's the, what's the big difference? So you said there's take back to England some skills that you've learned. So what's, yeah. the, what's the difference? Is it the way the game's played or is it the technical skill level? Is it, what, what do you think is the big difference? I think the way the game's played, it's a lot more free-flowing here. There's a lot mm. more running rugby, whereas yep. in England it's a lot more structured. Uh, and obviously being a prop, it, I'm used to more of the structured and the yep. set-piece kind of aspect of it, where it was very different coming over here, uh, like offloads and all that. But yeah. back home, I like well with Rodney, I've been he's been getting me to kick the ball or offload the ball, which I wouldn't have had the confidence to do coming <laughs> out here. Yeah. So or I think it's good for me to take or away be that allowed skill to set. Do, probably. Yeah. Or be allowed yeah. to do it. Yeah, true. So it's good for me to take that skill set home, and then if I need to use those skills or. If I want to start implementing them, I can. You've got them so, in the yeah. Arsenal. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think to add to that as well, that his attention to detail on the 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 like the minuscule skills that you don't really think about when yeah. you when you go and play. Like you, you don't you don't think about how you're gonna steal a ball when there's a rook. You don't think think about like tackle technique, moving limbs, and all that sort of thing. So his his level of detail is, I'd say, a lot. He looks a lot into the finer details than just you know. You got to tackle that guy, yeah. or you've got to run him over. Like he actually looks at how he's gonna, how he's gonna do it, and he's sort of giving us little tips and tricks as well from, from his experience. So nice. that's really, you know, valuable to us. What's the goal? The goal just to make it. I want to wear the white shirt at some nice. point. So, yeah, like just trying to implement everything I can do in order to get to that stage and at some point in my life. So. And yours is the yeah, same, same I guess. Yeah. So when you're at when you're at Cole, when you were coming through, you know, three or four years ago, did you think? That was the goal, or did it just sort of happen for you? Um, or did I you want to be a doctor, or a lawyer, or a policeman, or a I don't know, a I barman? From, <laughs> yeah. from when I was younger, I've always I've come from quite a rugby family, yep. so it's always been the goal to to do that. And I think, especially when I was at school, I was always more into the rugby side of it than the academic side of it. So yeah, for me, like I've never really. Had any, I've never really seen another option other nice. than to go for that. So, just like having this opportunity for me, like to develop my skills and push me for that goal even even more, has just been yeah, amazing. So, what's the so some of you you land at Heathrow, you walk through customs, someone's there and they go, what was your best memory of New Zealand? What would it be? Um, I wouldn't say breaking my nose was the best memory, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, it doesn't say, look like it's been get, altered to yeah, me at all. Getting, uh, getting, back to, getting back to playing again and consistent games, which I've missed yep. out on for so long. You know, you wake up in the morning on Sunday feeling sore, and you know you've got to go in yep. on Monday and do it all again next week. So, yeah, like, I've really like, missed the, that sort of challenge and that, that feeling of just, you know, you've played, a, yep. you had a good, tough game, and you've come out of it win, lose, or draw, like, just, just to play again. So, yeah, that's, that's my best experience I'd say. I'm going to ask you about off-field in a minute. What, what about yours? Um, well, luckily for me, I was able to take part in one of the set-piece sessions with yep. the Hurricanes boys. Nice. So I think probably that, because I was able to learn a lot through this, like the scrums and line-outs, which yep. like, I maybe wouldn't have had the exposure to. So yeah, like for that, for me, that's something that I'm always going to remember. So it was yeah, probably my best memory. How was your fishing at Taupo? Were you any good? Um, I'd say I was, I was all right, but they weren't biting for me. They were just biting for, they were just biting for Nick. <laughs> the Saracens yeah. boys thought they were pretty good at it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Good, Fellas, good technique. Fantastic but. having you in Wellington. Um, you're welcome back any time. And as I said to those boys out there, we get lots of TV coverage here, as you know, of, of yeah. the pro leagues and everything else. So let's make sure that we see your faces running out there yeah, somewhere, sure. whether it be for the Worcester Warriors or whatever in the, in the near future. So safe journey home. Cheers. Um, Thank and you. as I say, you're welcome back any time. Ori's and Hutto boys will have you back, I'm sure. So. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. All the best. Thank Ross Bond, Wellington Rugby TV. Watch these faces. The Worcester Warriors. Nick and Zach. Zach. <laughs>